Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here again with another installment of Tips and Tricks for uh, Scribus. And we are um, going to take a quick look on how to do this right here, which is um, uh, indent some text from both sides. Uh, this is my novel, um, Self-Portrait of a Dying Man. And in this particular case, the text is a uh, text message that came on cell phone. And I wanted it separately called out. It, it sh I didn't want it as a quote. I uh, wanted it hanging by itself. So you can do this for that type of thing, for a letter that somebody sends to somebody. If you just want this piece of text uh, separate, um, this is how you do it. Um, now in my case, I indented it one half inch from each side and uh, told it to put it in italics. And we're going to see how I did that. Uh, in the first instance, uh, this is done with a style. So we're going to go to Edit Styles. And this is Style Manager here. And you see that uh, I have one called Hanging Indent. So um, I'm not going to go through the process here because it's, it's very slow on this computer, but I will show you basically what you have to do. Um, you need to create, you. so if you didn't have this already, you would create a new paragraph style. And then you name it whatever you want, new style. Um, and the key to the whole thing is down here. Uh, you tell it to indent uh, whatever you want. Uh, so, in this case, I want it to be a uh, half inch, so down here I just put 0 0.5 because my units are in inches on this thing. And down here, uh, the same thing. And that's that. Now, for some reason, uh, when I indent this, here. This is the left hand side of the indentation. Uh, for some reason it moves the first line over half an inch. I don't know why. Actually I'm going to see if I can make that zero. See what it does. Alright, so it did it zero. That's probably what I want to do. In any case, justification, I want the thing to be um, justified like so. And that's the now, uh, the other thing you uh, consider when you're doing this, you see that this is in italics. That's the way I want it. It doesn't have to be that way. You can do whatever you want. Um, and with uh, Scribus, as I mentioned, I'm using the EB Garmin for the regular text over here. Um, it doesn't have italics. It has regular and it has uh, small caps. So what I have to do is find one that's close that has italics, italics rather, and I know that there is one called Garmin number eight, and it has italic. And boom, that's that. All the rest of this we leave the same because that's how we want it. And that's how you set up the new style. Now the as we saw in another video, when we, we do this new style, we want this word apply up here. Well, the new style doesn't have it, so we have to, um, we have to edit. See, this says apply, but it doesn't have it. This is the character. should be able to just edit that. And that's that. So uh, we say we're done. And we didn't do anything to it. So let's see if whether our new. St so we're going to get the spinning circle of death here. Oh, okay. I well, didn't take. Um, so this is why I don't like to do the demonstration here because we're going to have this uh, spinning circle of death. a while. We're going to pause. All right, uh, finally the uh, spinning circle of death uh, went away. 
and we're going to try to um, do uh, demonstrate this. Well, we got another cir spinning circle of death. See, this this thing doesn't like big files, and uh, should get used to that if you're going to be typesetting a uh, novel. I would really like this box to go away right here. All right. Uh, fine. Now, all you have to do, because you now we've got over here our new style. Let's right click and it says apply okay so that's the style we set up we put it at the beginning of the paragraph we want to do the style and we uh, click right click apply with any luck it will go like that there you go so um, that's how it's done you can go down here and uh, you know put it Make some space here if you want to. Also, you see how long it takes for it to do anything. All right. Uh, well, that's that. Um, I hope we got something out of that. Uh, until next time, take it easy.